Hey guys, it's Yvette and it's time for my Monday catch up. My what's been going on over here catch up. And I've been sitting here quite literally at least five minutes trying to come up with what, what am I going to say? Believe it or not, lost for words. I think sometimes I have just so much going on that I can't even um, gather a thought. <laughs> and ever since the quarantine started and everything closed down, I have not had my office hours at Starbucks. And I call it office hours. I basically, um, we get off a little bit early at work on Fridays. And so I would go to Starbucks and get a coffee, maybe a tiny little snack um, if I felt like having something. Um, and then I would sit there with my planner and my computer and try to um, plan out at least the next week what I was going to do definitely for the weekend because weekend is when I can get most of my sewing stuff done but since we you know since they've been closed I haven't been having office hours and that has totally taken me away from my planner which I need to I need to get the planner going again. Um, I think it would be very helpful in, you know, everything that I'm trying to do right now because I've got, you know, things over for this side and things for over here and trying to concentrate on one thing at a time and make sure that I'm putting the appropriate amount of time into each space. I mean, it's, it can be a little crazy. And for me, it's like, I'll, I forget things. I will totally forget things. And well, that's not good. <laughs> so as far as what I've been doing, um, this past weekend was really, really, really busy. Um, Friday, what did I do when I came home Friday? I've been like pretty tired lately. And so I think on Friday, I actually came home. I had every intention of just starting on the sewing that I needed to get done. But I had a headache when I got home. And so I laid down. I think I did take a nap. So I took a little nap. And then when I woke up, I came straight up and started working on the um mini series and so i got quite a bit done there didn't finish but i got quite a bit done there and so then was that so then i finished on sunday on saturday the mini series and by so then i got that done and i started on my fort worth fabric studio um, cause I had week five to get ready for. So I was getting that sewed up and filmed and we went and got some dinner. We've been, um, picking up pizza from our local place. Cause we usually would go there not quite every Friday, but almost every Friday we would go and get some pizza and sit there and talk or whatever. And so now we just go and we put the order in and then we just pick it up. So we had gone to get some pizza. And then after I had a little dinner, I started editing. And you guys, I'm telling you, you have no idea about editing until you're actually doing it, especially for sewing videos. Um, I, you know, making the videos and, you know, doing all the sewing and all of that stuff, it's all fine. And actually, it's not that I mind doing the editing on those videos it's just you have to take you know by the time you're done filming everything you've been filming for depending on what you're doing you'll you'll have like two to three hours of filming at least and you have to obviously condense that down um to something that is reasonable for people to watch or at least you hope so um, cutting out the things that you don't need and speeding up things and, you know, making labels or whatever it is you need to do. So, um, and that take, that, that takes some time. 
Um, so I, I, I want to say Saturday night, I didn't go to bed till like 4 a.m. Of course, don't think that I was up that whole time because I am so tired that I, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do the same thing, okay? You're like in the middle of a project, you're trying to hurry up and finish up. And then I would like, I'd start going fishing. <laughs> so I did get some sleep <laughs> right there on the sofa, but, um, yeah, finally got it done and went to bed and then I had to get up because the premiere was at 10 a.m. So I, I got up and I sat um, and for the premiere and chit-chatted with everybody and that's always fun. And then I had to start, well, then I had to go grocery shopping because I'm the, I'm the one who goes out every day. So I do the grocery shopping too. And so I went and I did the grocery shopping and then um, came back. I had to finish up Fort Worth Fabric Studio, but I couldn't just keep sewing as it was Jim's birthday yesterday. So he wanted, um, he was like, hey, let's grill something for dinner. And so I was like, okay. So I grilled burgers and sausage and stuff like that. And so then once that was done, I want to say we finished dinner at like nine or I finished dinner at nine. It takes me forever to eat. And, um, and so then I had to finish Fort Worth Fabric Studio. Got done with that about 10.30, I think. And I was in bed by 3, so that was good. <laughs> but again, you just keep falling asleep is all it is. It's not totally not working that whole time. <laughs> but it's those, and I tell you what, it's those late nights where I'm trying to stay awake. So what do I do? I will usually, um, Jim likes to bake. So he'll bake cookies, like from scratch, right? So I'll go and get a couple of cookies and a bottle of water. And then I'll come and I, and I eat that. And then maybe I'll get some like some saltines or something, some little crackers and I'll have some crackers. And I'll be like, oh, you know, that cookie was pretty good. I'm gonna have one more cookie and then I'll have a cookie. And, <laughs> and now look at me. There was, somebody has been watching, um, some old videos and like, um, posting comments on it or whatever. And I'm looking back at myself and I'm like, Wow. I mean, like, seriously, I think I've gained like 15 pounds in two years. That's a lot. <laughs> and so Jim is sort of, you know, he's hee-hawing about wanting to kind of not go on a diet diet, but, you know, like cut back and make changes and stuff like that. And I was like, I really should. I mean, I really should. I need to stop snacking so much at night um, because, you know, just because I'm trying to stay awake so I can finish working. But, um... I don't know, maybe I'll just keep drinking more coffee or something. Maybe that'll do it. And before anybody says anything, like, coffee does not even keep me awake. That's what's really crazy. Um, but at least if I'm drinking coffee, maybe it's making me need to pee more or something. So that'll keep me awake. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> um... So that was the weekend. And then as far as this week, I do have a few things that I need to finish up. Um, I have the one week left for Fort Worth Fabric Studio. We're putting the mystery quilt together. So I can't wait for that to happen. Um, and the mini series, we have a couple of weeks to put together whatever our final project is going to be. And I think I'm going to put mine together for a wall hanging. Um, what else do I need? Well, I need to finish my swap. I'm not even going to go there. I wish I had somebody, seriously, who would just go, Yvette, no. Stop it with the swaps. Like, stop it. I am a terrible swapper now. I used to be a really amazeball swapper. Um, and I don't know why I can't get it through my head that I simply do not have time to devote to doing a swap and doing it properly so that I'm taking the other person into consideration. Um... You know, everyone is always very nice. Like, it'll come down to it and I'm like, oh, it's not ready. And, you know, I'm going to try to get it done in the next, like, couple of days or so. And, you guys, I need to talk to Lisa Marie and say, Lisa Marie, the next time I sign up for a swap, you need to just reply back to me and say, no, ma'am, and then rip it up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't know. So I have that to do. 
and I do have another video for cotton cuts, the small um, clue four. I need to put that one together and post that as soon as I possibly can. And speaking of cotton cuts, um, are you guys going to be signing up for the fall 2020 quilt? I think it's um, the name of the quilt is going to be Are You Game? And I, no, usually, okay, so I'm, I'm thinking about doing something that's like totally outside my comfort zone, right? Not totally, but come on, let's not go crazy. But I, something else, like something different, right? I'm thinking, um, but, so I know which one I'm thinking and I don't want to tell anybody because I'm like, um, because at first I was thinking I'm not going to tell anybody because then everybody's going to want to sign up for that one or whatever. Oh my goodness, guys. I was doing like a poll in my jelly beanies and like the one that I want to do is like, like everybody wants to do it. <laughs> So I'm going, okay, I've got to set the alarm. <laughs> so I have to be able to get that done. Um, so anyway, we have a couple of weeks before we can do that anyway. So I got a little, a little time to think about it. And um, anyway, that's about all that's going on, to be honest. And I will uh, keep you guys updated every week. Um, try to think about what it is I'm, I need to talk about. I probably should make lists, but that didn't happen either. And <laughs> um, let me know what you guys are doing about the cotton cuts. I'd love to know. Um, it's just so I could get even more confirmation that I'm picking the wrong color because it's going to go like that. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you're not already subscribed, won't you consider doing so? Um, and maybe ring the bell so you know every time I have a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.